So check this out. This is what Zuliski sent me in the mail. This is the Zuliski Owl. Yeah, look at that. That is a really cool box. I like that. <laughs> All right, everybody. So we have the Zuliski Owl. Yes, look at this, baby. I went ahead and pulled the top off the box and make it easier. So this is what we have. Cool picture. I really like the picture. So this is Zuliski Owl. This one here is cut in the Viper Doctrine footprint. And it's pretty good looking optic. I'll show you the outside of the box here. All right, now let's see what's in the box. That's what we're all wanna see is what's in the box. <laughs> all righty, first up, we got a card here. It says, note, optics should be calibrated at 25 yards. And then it's showing you uh, how to adjust your dot. A little more instructions here. So it's just talking about how to help you zero your optic. And then we have the little manual here. Nice. And I'll tell you a little bit more about this here in just a second. Uh, first of all, let's get this optic out. We also have a lens cleaner. Here we go. We got the optic, get that out, and also it came, it comes with a pick rail mount. See what else we got in here. Oh, nice. They sent several screws. That is always nice. I love it when companies send a lot of screws. That really makes it nice. We also have a little screwdriver to adjust the elevation and windage on the dot. And looks like we have a torque wrench and also it looks like it might be, yeah, it's the flat wrench to adjust the elevation and windage also. So let's take a look at this thing. Nice, I like the low profile. That is really nice. Turn it around here. So your adjustment there, adjustment there. And this does have the battery on top, which I absolutely love either a side door or on top battery. So you don't have to disconnect your optic to change the battery. I love it. This is also an always on shake weight, whatever you want to call it. Okay. We got our pick mount here, some screws for that and nice. Mount right there. So even with it on the pick rail mount, there, what it looks like. Still really nice, uh, low profile. Yeah, I like that. I like the low profile. So let's talk about the owl here. It is a 3MOA red dot. It is one by 24 millimeter. It does have a shake awake on it. After four minutes of no motion, then it goes to sleep. But also, if you literally turn the dot, if like if you turn it off, then that eliminates the shake awake. So you have to have it turned on for the shake awake to work. And then, like I said, after four minutes of no movement, it will go off. So I kind of like both options there. The battery, it does take a CR1632. And it is a 50,000 hour battery. And so you can do the math yourself and figure out how long 50,000 hours is. It's a lot. When you adjust the windage and elevation is one MOA per click. And I know I was messing with it earlier. It is pretty tough to turn. Like it's not going to accidentally move on you. So when adjusting it, um, like most dots, you don't really have any clicks or anything on the adjustment. But it's nice and tight. It don't turn really easy. So there's a pretty good chance that it's not going to move on you uh, during recoil and stuff like that. So we hope not. So we'll definitely check that out. So the dot does have 10 different brightness settings. Uh, two of them are... For nighttime, 
It is waterproof, rated at IPX7. And let's see if you can see the dot. See if I can get it up here lined up. Okay, you can see the dot right through there. Um, one thing about this is these buttons on the side, like you, they're like flush mount right here. So like you can use your thumb, you can use your finger. You're not going to change the settings on that dot. There is just no way. Um, I'm pushing, I can't change anything. Literally have to take, basically for me, either my thumbnail, push in, or my fingernail. So I see both pros and cons of that. So going in and out your holster and stuff, you're not going to be changing the settings on it. Um, so hopefully, like most people, like you get your dot set on illumination that you like, more than likely you're going to leave it there. I don't see you re up, reaching up real quick and changing it. Maybe it's just me, but I literally am having to get my fingernail in there to change the settings. So we got the plus on this side. We got the minus on this side. But looking at it here, uh, the dot seems to be nice and visible, bright. So we'll be going out and testing it out here. So I originally was wanting to mount a dot on this dagger slide here, but this is our market. And as of right now, I don't have a plate to switch from the RMR to the doctor. So this is what we're going to do. We do have a Viridian 45 degree offset. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and put this on the rifle on the offset because we do have a doctor plate for that so we'll get this all mounted up and we're going to go outside and shoot this baby i'm very excited to get outside and shoot this um i do have the uh, pmr 30 it is doctrine cut but i already got an optic on it and it's zeroed in and so i wasn't wanting to switch it right now so we'll just put this baby on a rifle and see how it does Okay, guys, we're outside. We have the Zulissi Owl mounted on this. As you can see here, it is mounted on the 45 degree there. We have a little sun in the background. That'll tell, like, if I'm going to get any glare through this and stuff. So let's see what it does. So what we're going to do is I was going to do uh, two shots at each bullseye. There's four of them up there head belly left and right of head so i was going to try to do uh two like two shots at each and see how this thing does on a rifle okay and i am using my cheapest 22 ammo i got it's the remington gold so hopefully it don't give us any troubles All right, that's not too bad on some rapid fire. Uh, I was able to see the dot real well. I was able to keep it on target, even moving it quick. So let's see some more stuff. Here's a picture of it up close. Uh, not too bad, those two there. Actually, these two went through the same hole. So, I mean, those are all good shots, especially for me. All right, we got some water balloons down there and a couple cans of tomatoes. Let's see what the water balloons will do. <laughs> I love it. Uh, those, that can of tomatoes, diced tomatoes, they're good dancers. Let's see if we can make them things dance. Woo! <laughs> Try the other one. <laughs> Oh man, them maters are good dancers. <laughs> so far, pretty dang good. But, you know, nothing would be complete here on this channel without shooting some hard seltzer. <laughs> so, I got some hard seltzer down there. Now, I think three of those had like cracked and busted a little bit from the cold weather. 
Because they live out here at the range. I don't take them things in the house. Might not be a big explosion on those, but let's give them a try. Woo! <laughs> Woo! All right. So, the Zulissi Owl did pass the hard seltzer test. I'm quite impressed with this thing. Let's go back inside and you can hear my final thoughts. So don't go anywhere. Oh, by the way, off screen there a second ago, your mama called. Yes. She said to make sure you pick up your socks and underwear. Also, subscribe to this channel. Yeah, your mama told you to subscribe to this channel and comment. So do what your mama says. All right, Hit Bully Nation. So my final thoughts on Zulissi Owl. Ah, uh, all in all, it's pretty good optic, I believe. I'll go through the pros and I still had a few little cons, and so let me tell you what all they were. So for the pros, I had no problem with it. I was able to find my targets pretty quick and fast. Um, I didn't have any problem with that. If I turn it up to the max in that daylight, I was getting some starburst, but when I turn it back down to where I kind of like it, um, I don't remember what setting that was on, but probably four or somewhere in there. It was perfect for me. I didn't get any starburst, and then plus, if you noticed, I had the sunset, you know, the sun in the background there, which I was wondering if it was going to cause a glare on the lens or anything. And I did not notice any glare or anything like that. Um, even with the sunbeams kind of coming through, I didn't see any difference. It worked just great. So having it here on this 45 mount on here, um, it worked great. I didn't have any troubles with it. It did exactly what it's supposed to do. I really like the low profile on it and everything. I would like to try it on a pistol. So also another pro is, is the battery being on the top side of it, being able to change the battery out. Um, I love that. Either side load, top load. I love that on a reflex sight. Uh, and the dis, you know, dismount your optic to change the battery. So that's another pro. Another pro is that it held zero. I didn't have no problem with that. I know I didn't shoot a whole lot on the video, but I shot several rounds um, playing around there, checking everything out on it. Um, that I did off camera, of course, sighting it in and everything, and it held zero just fine. Didn't have any problems at all with that so far. Another pro is I like the shake weight myself personally, but that's what's good about this one. If you don't want to use the shake awake, then you can turn it off and then the shake awake does not work. It won't come on until you push the button to turn it back on. That's a great feature to have on a dot. Personally, I want to stick with the shake awake. Like I said, I didn't have a pistol available right now with the Viper Doctor Cut on it. So that's one reason I put it on the rifle. As soon as I get a pistol available, I will definitely do another video uh, with that on a pistol. Now for the cons, uh, there wasn't there wasn't much at all, guys. As I turned the dot up, I did get star bursting, but that's me. I have a slight stigmatism, and so a lot of red dots uh, do that to me. Green dots, not so much. I would love to have that in a green dot. And then the other con for me, and it depends on how you carry it. Might not be a con for you. The up and down and the controls on the dot. They were inside the frame, so I could not turn it on and off or adjust the brightness or dimness with my finger. I literally had to take my fingernail and push in, you know, through the frame of the optic to get those to change. I can see a plus in that. So if you got in a holster and, you know, going in and out of the holster, it's not going to be pushing your up and down on your buttons. and not going to change it. So that could be a pro for somebody else. I just kind of have mixed feelings about that. I don't know yet. For some people, it'd be a great deal. For some people, it might not. That's one thing I wanted to point out. But all in all, the Zulissi Owl, it worked great. I like it. I would put those on my guns. Uh, yeah, and I know Zulissi has some other different dots and stuff. Hopefully, I'll be able to check some of those out. So I want to thank Zulissi for sending me this optic. I appreciate it. Um, I am going to keep it on, you know, one of my guns, especially if I get another pistol that has a cut for it or I get the plate in. Um, yes, it's going to go on my pistol. Anyway, Hillbilly Nation, I want to thank you so much for watching. 
So if you're watching this premiere live, we're going to be doing a short live chat about it. And uh, so jump over and check that out. It'll be on right after this video. If you're watching this vid video later, I'll link the live to this video so you can go check it out. So I just want to leave you all saying, remember, God, family, and country. And make somebody's day better, will you? And if the good Lord's willing, the creeks don't rise. We'll be seeing you again, Hillbilly Nation. I love you. One less can of hard seltzer in this world. I'm proud of myself. So this is what everybody really looks like when they take their mask off after guns, beer, and therapy. <laughs>